Hello there, YouTube. This is you, Tycooner Steve. I'm back once again. This is episode 18 of our Let's Play, in which we're building our new African Safari exhibits. And today, what animal are we going to do? Well, it's going to be the African Lion, King of the Beast. Or the Jungle, but I don't really think you should call it King of the Jungle, because, well, they don't live in jungles. So I'm going to go with King of the Beast. And where are we going to put it here? Uh, I had a couple different people request uh, the lions, which is why I'm doing them. Uh, but there was some division as to exactly where they should go. Uh, a couple people thought they should go in one of like the auxiliary displays, like uh, three, or I think this was five. Um, but I, I think we're going to do it here in seven. I know at least one person suggested that, and I like that because it's going to give us an indoor-outdoor cat house, which is something I do like doing, and I haven't had a chance to really display that in this Let's Play or even any of my earlier ones where it was just a single exhibit. So we're going to go with seven here, and uh, we are going to tweak the exhibit a little bit. That's not quite the right size I want for the lion, but that's what we're going to do. So let's zoom in down here, and we can begin our construction. Um, so there, obviously, uh, the game does come. I even think it's just the standard Zoo Tycoon content does come with the lion. But we're going to go ahead and use the uh, Radical Remake one, because it looks so much nicer. Look how pretty that is. So, yeah, if you don't have it, if you own Zoo Tycoon 2, and for some reason you don't have the Radical remakes, uh, that's just one of the better comparisons I can show you as to why you should go grab the Radical remake, and the link for that, as always, is uh, in my description box below. Okay, so for the idea for the exhibit is that it's going to have um, both an inside place here with just kind of like the standard bars, like an old-fashioned zoo, uh, would have where people can come in, they can look at the animals, and then those bars will have exits to the outside where we'll have kind of a real left stick um, kind of African, uh, I was going to say Pride Land, I guess I got too much Lion King in my head, but um, so let's go ahead and start getting that going. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do here is actually go ahead and install the inside part because that's going to help me really determine the dimensions I want to use here. And I'm going to use uh, the carnivore cages um, from Snow Leo's equipment. Uh, so, tricks to this. Is, uh, okay, let's do it this way. Um, now you see that little green arrow right there that's pointing? That's actually where uh, the animals can enter. Um, so in order to get one of these to work, you kind of got to trick the line up. So I'm going to have a couple of these in the row, so I'll have a large area. And so they'll be able to exit. And so I'm doing a rotation like that. Um, just to uh, make it so that the animals will be able to walk into the center one, and then they'll be able to walk into either one on that side. Although I don't exactly like that. One. I just, in order to make it so that there's like a little entrance way, I'm not going to put them right up against the edge of the building, I don't think. Well, I give a little breathing room here. Um, set them down there. There. And. Oops. There, like that. Okay. And so now we'll go ahead. And I'll start building the fencing around that. Uh, we'll get this inside area set. And then I'll show you how to make the entrances and exits that work for the outside area, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab, I think I'm going to stay with the Snow Leo's equipment for the fencing too, just because it all fits together really, really well. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to find that very quickly in here. I think this is it right here, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, that's the right equipment. Uh, not the right size, though. Uh, too high. We'll go back this way, find the shorter ones. Nope. don't want the ones with the doors, either. Those are too small. Hmm. I think I have a set of really good-looking, like, just 
bars like you'd see in an old-fashioned zoo or like an old prison, I guess. But um, well, they're not just popping up to me. Are these him? I don't think so. I think those are more chain-linked. Yep. I'll go with the Jurassic Park ones. That's not a bad idea, but um, maybe I should go with glass, actually. Yeah, I'll have more of an updated zoo and use glass at the front. That's an interesting idea. If I can find the glass, of course, which I probably can't. All right, because I don't want to drive myself insane going through this. Oh, there's a glass right there. Looks like it needs to be a four high. Oh, and let me zoom out a bit so I can actually see what I'm doing. So we'll use glass there. And now we should determine what the walls are going to be for our actual building here. Uh, let's see, it's kind of an African area. Um, before I forget, I don't want people tapping on the lion's cage. Let me put down some strips inside. Uh, I think I'm going to go with like a red brick I think I have. I guess I could go with the safari walls because that's what I'm using for my overall look. Um, now since I am going to go with the overall look, I'll go with like these bricks here, which are a little darker than the standard brick set that you get at um, I believe these ones come from Ruben and Sophie. I'm not positive about that, though. Or it needs to be at least as high as that, right? It probably should be a little higher, as a matter of fact. So, yep, we'll use that. Okay. And I need the four high, which actually I don't see. Of course, this set probably won't have a four high, and then I'll have to scrap them. Nope, there it is. And the five high for the back. And then what I'm going to do is also uh, kind of put a fake top there. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that, because remember this is where the uh, lines are going to be able to get in and out of their display. Um, so now let me look at the dimensions of their outside, because we're going to want to make that pretty big. Uh, but I'm going to put a pit between the actual pathway and the area we're going to use. In fact, those dimensions really aren't too bad for an outside display. Uh, I don't like this fencing that I've put up as the temporary guidelines, though, so let me find one that's a little more appealing, I think. And it's probably going to be something pretty low since I'm putting in a little pit in between. I want animals to be fairly visible. Uh, in fact, we may just use this guy right here. And uh, I want to make that entrance a little more clear, so I'm going to take out those two. And let me go ahead and grab a path border, just because I don't want people falling into the pit and suing my zoo. And, hmm, I guess I should keep that for the other side, too. Like that. And we'll play with that dimensions a little bit, but, um... So we'll go here into this little fatter area and just dig ourselves a hole real quick. And then we'll take our flattened terrain tool at the bottom of that hole. Mm. OK, 
got to do that backwards. You need to flatten the terminal first. I'm sorry. No, it's working there, so maybe I wasn't entirely wrong. Because what we'll have to do is kind of flatten out the pit, put on the path down, and rebuild it. Whoops. Not smooth. Flat. just to make sure that that pit's actually a pit. Let me go ahead and switch to guest mode real quick so I can look at it. Yeah, I want that to be a little deeper, so I'm probably going to have to leave that fence and rebuild it, because it's looking right in that other area. So let me just get rid of all that outer fence so I can lower it, and then we'll smooth it back out. This is something that always kind of messes with me when I do this game. It's like one of those things where no matter how many times I have to do it, um, building pits and leveling grounds always kind of just get with my head. And that didn't come out just right. No, I don't want to delete the inner fence. I love the inner fence. Fix that path in a second. Uh, flatten. And now I'll just come in and be whoops, very, very precise. Is what we have to be. Nope. Let's make this as small as we can here, so we're not making that mistake. Which is probably something I could have done earlier. To make it better. Mm, I don't know if it's going to let me get that close then. So what we'll just do is make it higher here, and then we'll tuck the pathway in closer. I think that's good. Compromise there. So, bye bye to this pathway. And grab my flattener. And let's go ahead and put a new path in. All in the name of safety. And again, not getting sued. I really don't care if you're safe. I just care you don't sue me. That would be weird if that was a mechanic in this game. You have built an unsafe exhibit. Someone tripped on an ice cream cone. Fortunately, like I said, it always kind of throws me off, but I've made corrections so many times after messing up, I've got a fairly steady hand when it comes to redoing it without the fencing there. So, so that's something, you know, to be proud of, I guess. Please don't fall in. I have no insurance. Okay. And so let's go ahead and do some habitat editing here. Um, I like to turn my pits into little dirts, and I'll stick something down there, like uh, some type of plants or something to fill that area in and make it look nice. And tropical savanna. No, that's tempered grassland again. Tropical savanna. All through here. Okay. So that's going to be our basics right there. Let's go ahead and put in our entrance for our zoo keeps. I may want to be able to get through here, here, and here. And in fact, we'll just go ahead and wall off that uh, extra area so the very, very stupid zookeepers that this game generates don't get as confused when I assign this pathway to them. And I think the brick buildings are after the barns? Yep, there they are. And then, because I'm pedantic, we'll also go ahead and lay down a pathway for our zookeepers on the inside. 
just a basic little concrete thing. Just like that. Okay. And let's get to tweaking our top here. So we'll put a extra little thing on top of where our glass encase uh, glass encasement ends. I said that perfectly the first time you all heard it. You're my witnesses. Uh, doesn't really matter. And then we'll find something nice to put above that. Um, I don't think I have that exact same style of brick, so we'll probably have to go with something decorative. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Yeah, we'll go with something hot, taller than that. Um, high elevated gothic. Oh, that's a little too decorative. Maybe low wooden rope mesh path. No. Looking for something that says lion. See, that's that brick path for that, but it doesn't quite match up. Let's see how. Well, that's not as far off as I was thinking it was. So yeah, we'll use that. Okay. And now we'll just use our little floating pathway trick I showed you way back in episode one. Bobbity, bobbity, boo. Now, very important, um, we want our animals and our zookeepers to be able to actually get into the inner paths. So we're going to have to use a little bit more Snow Leo's equipment. Uh, he has some steps for us, which I'm pretty sure I have. Why check it before the episode begins, right? Am I right? I'm right, I know. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Totally professional what I'm doing. Uh, yes, I do have them. So what you have to do is use one of the higher steps, and then I like to use like a set of lower steps so you can get in either way, but you only need one. Actually, just, you know, that would be sufficient. And the animals and the zookeepers can walk up that. Okay, so we've got that going. Uh, let me see now. Uh, let's take a look at what our animals need, what they want. Uh, what kind of enrichments, what, uh, what kind of food. I'm assuming there's going to be some meat involved. And I am going to decorate the inside area too, a little bit, just to maybe even just throw in like a plant or something in there. Like, um, they do logs or rocks. I'll probably put rocks in. Rocks are, rocks are better. Or, actually, I'll probably find an enrichment item. Something that isn't uh, necessarily uh, something the African lions might use, but at least it'll look right. Okay, yeah, let's check out what their arrangement items actually are. Uh, they've got the cat climber, which is kind of okay, but it's not great. Mm, Alright, so here's what we'll do. Outside, we'll definitely give them a scratching post. Uh, simple, looks great, love to use them. Hmm, I was hoping they'd have more climbing stuff, but that's alright. And let's see. Uh, I'm probably not going to feed them through that. We'll go ahead and use the rock. Come on. Oh, those ones aren't falling on top. Uh-oh. Are these going to go on top? Well, that one kind of does. <laughs> In fact, I might actually use the flesh feeding device. That does actually look pretty good. And so, let's go ahead and put that in. Uh, we'll put it up against here, I think. And the rock water trough. Let's 
check out some enrichment items here. Uh, monkey bridge, monkey bars. Surprised they don't use that. I think like the actual ones, not the uh, remake ones, use that. They officially use the cat climber. Ugh, looks terrible. Look at the monkey bars. Monkey house. A lot of things for primates. I think I got a pack specifically for them is why that is. Um, so I think we might just have to get creative. We'll use some of the statues that, uh, so the lions won't be able to interact with them, but they're going to look great. They're going to look more like an actual exhibit. Um, As I scroll through here, I was pretty sure I had these things. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's some things like that, but that's not the one I'm thinking of specifically. Uh, Jurassic Park stuff, the signpost. Hmm, I was thinking it was right in here. But right here is the picnic tables, so I don't think that's what they're going to use. Lions don't use picnic tables, last I checked. It's been a bit. I guess I could use the Simba statue. Uh, crane. That's not going to work. I'm not even sure where you would use that. Let's see, I'm just going to select something else here just so I can get that on my upper arch. Oh, I can use some of the TVs on the inside of this building. Uh, just before I forget, I'll set one down that way. It reminds me when we go back to try and use those things. Crane, container, treasure chest. Hmm, I was thinking there was a really cool cat climber somewhere in here. And for the life of me, up, oh, I think here we are. Oh, I guess it's just called a hang. And there's a tree house. Yeah, so we'll kind of construct something here for them. Uh, choo -choo -choo. Let me look at that hang. I'm not overwhelmed. I'm not whelmed either. I'm not underwhelmed. I'm just kind of indifferent. I think what it may be is I'm remembering something I used to have before the great crash of episode 16. Because it seems to me I had like a cl cat climbing equipment. But I don't. Okay, so we'll make do with the hang. Although that doesn't look great. <laughs> Alright, let me give it a think. In the meantime, we can start uh, just kind of building up this area with some rocks. Um, let's go ahead and do some geography things so it's not so flat. To kind of make the center area a little bit taller. Uh, here. Grab a smoother. And we'll even put in a little bit of a water area for them too, I think. That would be a good idea. Uh, kind of use that uh, heat there. And I will go ahead and let that cut in a little, just so I can have some decoration in there, too. It's not a bad idea. Oop. Around, it kind of goes through the floor, but that's okay with me. And again, because of the patches, they're going to be able to walk on top of those rocks, so that's not concerning me, that's going to hurt their space. Uh, 
run out a bit. Let's see what kind of trees we've got for Mr. Lion. I do love those Akai trees. I don't know how you pronounce them. Akai, 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 The Akaka. Let me give it an actual shot. Akasia? Eh, the rain bushes are too big for that display. Those aren't in Africa. And no, not if I'm using those. It's plain ones. Let's go switch to plants here. Oh, I can put in a little fake termite mound. Even though they don't eat it, it'll look good. Put it back there. Uganda grass. I think that's okay. Let's zoom in and take a picture of it. Or take a picture. Take a better look. Uh, do I have, like, multi-level... Yeah, savanna grass. There we go. And medium. Oh, nope. That's the medium. And then we'll take the tall at the very edges there. And I'd just start with medium over here so it's not so predictable. that from our guests' perspective. And what we might end up doing is actually raising the path here a little bit, uh, so the guests can see down into there. So yeah, we'll need to do that. Um, but I'm liking the overall look of the display, honestly. Alright, so let's, uh, let's do some path raising here. Which, again, is a good thing to do if you're building a pit of some type. Um, So you might be asking, Zoo Tycoon or Steve, how does one raise a path? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you do is take the little bit of the pathway that you want up, and we'll just go ahead and flatten the path next to it. Like so. And then just make sure you smooth the path going into it, so it's more of a gentle ramp. And then we'll just use that as our basis to go through. Again, being very careful not to sort of overstep there and also raise up the pit we've already dug, because that would be kind of silly. This is going to let you, uh, your guests see the animals much clearer than if they were at the same level. Because remember, we did put a wall there. Because uh, if this is flat, uh, you're not actually looking over the wall, you're looking right here where the wall first goes up. So you've got distance plus a little wall, which makes it kind of hard to see. But hopefully now, we will uh, walk up, and yeah, now I've got a much better look at it. Very, very cool. And don't worry, I, sh I should add, um, I get a lot of these, like, Indian P file 5 is really hungry. That's still some leftover effects from our, uh, uh, the dreaded episode 16 crash, uh, I haven't had a chance to, like, go back and reassign all of the zookeepers to the right place and everything, so there are some animals which are currently not being fed, uh, but because we live in pretty much a permanent st uh, state of animated suspension where I keep pausing the game, I I'm not really worried about them. Um, my plans are, when this is done, to go ahead and upload the zoo into a, like, a Dropbox or something, so that if anybody wants it, I'll also upload, like, all of my 
uh, all of my different mods at the very end is my plan. That way, if you want to uh, have this zoo for your Zoo Tycoon collection, or any of my mods, you'll be able to just go online and uh, grab them, and you'll be able to walk through the zoo yourself. So, before that happens, I will go back and make sure everything is hunky-dory. And, um, I probably shouldn't mention that, because I'm probably going to forget it, and then you people will be able to yell at me for being forgetful and stupid, but... Oh well. Uh, that, that's my intention right now, at least. Unless it's too much of a pain in the butt, I might forget it then. Uh, so what am I doing now? Now I'm just going around our path that we raised again. And this is going to let me go ahead and flatten the ground behind it without affecting it. So that way I can get right up against it. Get everything as flat and smooth as possible. Whoops, I went a little bit over there. Fences kind of uh, give you a limited uh, sort of force field, firewall, whatever metaphor you want to use against uh, raising or lowering fences. Or raising or lowering the ground. Fences give you the ability to raise or lower fences. That, kind of a silly way to put it. Um, okay, and I do want to put something in here. Uh, uh, what should I be putting here? It's going to be kind of tough since uh, for some reason all these things are leaking through the floors instead of resting on top like they used to. Uh, that's okay though. That's okay. Um, what I will do is go ahead and throw like the logs in there or something. Just uh, something to decorate it with. Uh, I think I want the one from the American Adventures. Let me just go ahead and filter for that then. Oh, it must be under plants. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That should still stick out. Look like the lions have something to do. Um, yeah, let's just take a guess mode peek. Ah, uh, don't freeze on me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be willing to believe that. And so we'll just get uh, some of CRG's hay to put down, too, so it looks like they have a nice soft place to lay. Nope, now I'm going to need more than American Adventures. I have no clue where CIG's hay is hidden, so we'll have to scroll through it all real quick. But it shouldn't take too, too long. Uh, maybe I should put one of the uh, lion bouncy rides outside. There, it's on theme. Oh, I know it's not a fountain. I think it's... I think that's it right there. Yeah, beautiful. That's some of CRG's hay. So, we'll lay that down in a corner here. Beautiful. So, they got a little hay bed to lay in if they want to come inside to escape the heat. Um, what kind of roof are we going to put on this building? We need to start thinking about things like that since we're working on the inside now. Um, do I want it mostly flat? I think I do. I think I'll leave, like, the area over the animals flat, and then put in a higher area with, like, sunroofs there. And I'll sunroof the area over, or I'll put, like, glass over all of where the animals sleep. So let me... No, not wooden. I want more brick. I believe the brick's right there. Yep. Good, good, good. And one higher, please. find the glass. I want kind of just the flattest glass. Is that right? 
Nope, that is not right. That'll work. I was wondering if I should leave some of it brick. That way, when the animal goes inside, it's, they're going to have shade. Yeah, actually, I, I like that. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just make it all brick then. I've, I've made a change. I'm going to give them some inside shade. Quick decision change there. Okay. Then let me go ahead and make this look a little more official. Oops. So only the zookeepers can go in there. And hmm. Let me take a quick look at the statues and see if there's something specific for lions or large cats. I don't think I saw it a moment ago, but uh, again, I'm so new with all this. Those are fountains, not statues. So new with all this stuff, I haven't cataloged it all in my head. And like, I think I use those at the front of the zoo, so I'm not going to use them again here. I've got the Simba statue, yeah. I've got the Harry Potter kids. I, I really don't know what use those guys are, but okay. Um, but when this is over, before the start of the next episode, I might go out and get some some specific stuff for lions. That way we can do a little more decorating. Maybe I'll put, uh, after we get done doing all the... I know what I'll do, yeah. After I get done doing all of the other exhibits, the... Uh, but one, two, four, and six. I'll go through and do like a big decoration thing on the inside or something like that. I'll do a whole episode of it. Maybe just a whole episode when we're done with the safari going around and sort of prettying up the safari area to show you how I like to do pathways and sort of uh, put some concentration on that. All right. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll, if you want that, uh, go ahead and let me know in the comments. If you want me to just kind of do it as I go along, let me know that too. I'm open to suggestions. Nothing set in stone. Uh, but I think it's about time um, we put some lions in our lion display. So let's go ahead. And uh, I'm not going to put, uh, probably put one male, two females, I guess. I mean, you don't want too big a pride. It's not huge. But that's about right size for a lion area, I think. Let me grab our hapless zookeeper. Hopefully, a well trained zookeeper in this case. Zookeeper Wood. Who will work this area. And. Sign them also that little area inside there. Uh, what are we gonna put in here now in our inside our trench? Um, let's see what bushes just go in savanna areas. Landscaping, please. Bushes. A bit tropical savanna. And preferably something tall and impressive. Grass, red fountain grass. That's my uh, pampas grass, but that doesn't grow in Africa. Doesn't look like there's anything big. At you know what we could do is see if those rain bushes. Oh, I think those are going to look great.
and I need to use a different type of path that doesn't curve, because uh, <laughs> that's because we built that up there. So let me change the fen not path, fencing. Fencing, I pointed at it and said path. I'm going insane. Um, something simple like that. That's why we shouldn't do that if we're standing too close. And that was just a product of having that ditch there. Um, the curve pass try to stay on the other uh, triangle, I guess I'll call it and that brings them actually into the ditch, so just a uh, pro tip, go ahead and do that. And let me finish up rain bushing the area. That's a highly technical term, of course, rain bushing. But that's going to look so better than just an empty pit. <laughs> So, uh, one last thing I want to do before I forget is go ahead and put down our donation signs, or our donation boxes. And I went back and I did find, I don't remember if these were in the last episode or not, oops, I'm still looking at statues, but I found those original wooden boxes I love so much that we were using at the beginning of this Let's Play, so that's what I'm going to continue to use here instead of kind of the odd Chinese box uh, that I used an episode or up yep, two episodes ago. I forget exactly which one it was. But let's go ahead and drop one there. And we'll drop one on the outside here on the curved path because the curved path is a little bit thicker so it doesn't always feel like it's in the way as much, at least in my head. Okay, I think what we'll do is go ahead and unpause now and take a look at what we did today. Because we are coming up on uh, about 45 minutes, and I try to keep them under that. Uh, so, eventually, this will be a nice doorway when we do the other side. But we will come in to the inside of the African display. And you're going to see the inside of our... Oops, I need to delete that pillar. I'll remember that. Maybe I'll do it here. And fortunately, they're not inside right now, which means... Now we should probably head out here. Go around the little bouncy ride up this nice elevated pathway. And I'll turn it so I can see. And yeah, they just look so much better than the actual ones that uh, come with the Sutaiku content. And let's, uh, let's take a pause here, see if one of them goes inside. Nope, looks like the male's gonna lay down, so... At least she's happy with the drink she got. And we'll continue around the pathway just to make sure it continues to look good. Yep, I'm really happy with those rain bushes. Glad we thought of it. Cat feeder looks really good. And hopefully one of them will go up on that plateau and, like, take a nap. Because that's what I like to see when I go to zoos and I'm looking at lions. But I'm pretty happy with this display. I think it gives you a good idea of an indoor-outdoor exhibit. Um... I would really like to see one go... There, okay. There, he's going inside, so... Nope, he's just messing with my head. Well, okay, I'll, I'll keep watching. If I see one, I'll edit it in here. Uh, but it has been about 45 minutes, so I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, as always, I'm looking for ideas for the remainder of our exhibits. Uh, please sure to leave both the animals you want and the paddock you think that they would be good in. Uh, once again, the ones left are paddocks 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, and eight. Although eight's a little bit smaller than it was last time. So, again, the quicker you can get your ideas in, the more likely you're going to get the paddock you want. Um, oh, this one's going to give birth. Hooray! So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of our Lions exhibits. Tell me what you think you've got ideas for in the future. And we'll see you soon.